there is one question that I always get, and it is, what if my hotline on my right hand is different from my hotline on my left hand? Well, today we are going to study this specific case. In our next example, on the dominant hand, the right hand, you can see that it is medium and it's curved, it's uh, broken and is chopped. And on the non-dominant hand, it is long, straight, there is no break, but it is still chopped. So, when everything is okay and in public, this person is very gentle, very loving because the line is curved, but because of the break, this person always has big relationship problems. Now, in times of crisis or in a, in a close environment, she's very loving because her line is very long, but she's very rigid. And she always attracts a lot of difficulties. The, hand, the, the lines are chopped in both hands. However, there's something that you may notice is the headline. I'm not talking about the heart. I'm talking about the headline is much stronger on her dominant hand, on the right hand. And I really believe that she chose to use her right hand uh, because she wants to use her head. And she's very, very brilliant and very, very smart. She, had, um, uh, she studied for a long time. And I really believe that this is where she put most of her strength, more on her headline than on her hotline. In our next example, we have the big leaf and the small root that I talked about before. So the big leaf is the dominant hand and the small root is the non-dominant hand. So in a dominant hand, you can see a long line, it's curved, it's looking up, it's making a beautiful quadrangle and it has many wisdom signs. On the non-dominant hand, it's very long, but totally straight. You see both lines of the quadrangles are very straight. The, the, the heart line has a tendency to go down and there are no wisdom sign. So I was talking about the big leaf, what you show the world. In this case, the person shows a very sweet uh, personality, easy to talk, a sense of humor, very nice. But when you get to know him better, he's very cold and very calculating, um, very rigid. Everything is black and white and he's not as nice to be around. And one of the things that I notice is a person who doesn't keep friends. And on our next and last case for today, you can see on the dominant hand, we have a very long and very straight line with a tendency to go down, as opposed to the non-dominant hand, where the line is short and straight. So this person, when everything is okay in public, she's very nice, she has a, a big heart, but she likes to be, uh, to have things done her way. And she has a, uh, a tendency to make people feel sorry for her. You see the line slightly going down. Now in times of crisis, she's more self-centered and she's very rigid. So it's a it's a very nice person. She loves to organize parties, but she also has a tendency to manipulate people. And uh, interestingly, this person used, uh, when she was young, she used her left hand, but she was forced to change to her right hand. And it was probably a good thing because the right hand is actually much longer and it's a, it's a, um, the heart line is actually better on the right hand. So in conclusion, remember that our first opinion of people 
When we first see them, we actually see their dominant hand. But there is more than meets the eye. And this is when the non-dominant hand is going to play a part. So the lesson is always look at both hands.